Hey everyone, it's Jessie. So I am pre-recording this video. A friend of mine had requested that I make her a few things and I made them and I just wanted to share those things with you. But I wanted to pre-record this video and then send the gifts out to her and wait until after she's opened the gifts before I post this video because she doesn't know what they look like yet. She has an idea, but she doesn't, she hasn't seen them yet. So the very first thing that I made was a tic-tac-toe game. I had never done anything like this before, so it was kind of fun. So this is the outside of it. It's folded up. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to take a closer look. Okay, so hopefully you can see this okay. This is a little strawberry on the outside. So if you take this out and unfold it, we've got a tic-tac-toe board inside. And in this top pocket here, we've got these cute little flowers. And then in the pocket below, we've got a bunch of little strawberries. So then, of course, you can go ahead and play your tic-tac-toe. I find it's so adorable. And I actually used yarn that I had on hand. I didn't use the same type of yarn throughout. I just had different yarns on hand. I think the Olive Grain is Lime Brand Basic Stitch Yarn. The Tweed Yarn is Karen Simply Soft Tweed. And I think the red yarn is Yarn B Soft and Sleek yarn. And definitely can't remember what I used for the rest. So I already switched the camera back around. And I forgot to show you guys the rest of it. So I'll try to show that to you here. So as you can see, we have the little pockets with the little flowers and strawberries. So then when you fold it up, you can take this and wrap it around and then just put the little strawberry right in there like that it's definitely definitely a cute little tic-tac-toe game if you have little kids or grandkids i think they just love it now i found this pattern on etsy i'm gonna leave a link below so that way you can find it over on etsy now you may not know that I make rice bags from time to time. They're called rice bags or rice packs. I used to make a lot years ago and sell them. And now from time to time, I have people come to me and ask me to make them. So I make them from time to time. So I made my friend a couple. And I actually made another friend some too, which I don't have on hand, but I can insert a picture. And I'm gonna have to insert a picture on these too because I have these already packaged up. I'll try to show you through the paper here. But this one I made with um, some sloth fabric and I found it so adorable. And I have a little saying that I usually put on these rice packs. And this one is kind of like a plaid color. It reminded me of spring, so very pretty. Um, I usually wrap them up in freezer bags since rice packs can go in the microwave or freezer. So I made those. The next project is a water bottle holder. So I made this. And it has a handle here. So it's something that you can put on your shoulder. And then you can carry your water bottle in here. It's just a lot easier if you're walking or if you're going on a trip. I used, I love this cotton yarn for all the colors in here. And I did follow a pattern. I can't remember the pattern right now, but I'm going to link that in the description below in case you want to check it out. Now, I made some adjustments to the pattern. I The strap here I made a little bit wider because my thoughts were if there's a water bottle in here and it's full of water, it's going to make it a little bit heavy. So I wanted the straps to be a little bit thicker. However, I know... With crochet, it, it still can stretch a little bit, but cotton yarn is a good choice for a water bottle holder. It's a lot more sturdy. And the pattern also did not come with this cover here, this little flap, or it did not mention any buttons. So what I did was I crocheted the water bottle holder like normal. I followed the pattern, except I made, again, I made these a little bit wider. And then I just connected some yarn to the back here and did some single crochets to make a little flap. 
And I tried to make this the size of the water bottle holder or the water bottle that my friend has. So she lives in another state. She gave me the measurements. And so I tried to go off that. It was a little bit difficult to try and guess. Um, but I do know, I believe the water bottle that she has is going to be possibly about an inch higher than, than the top here. So I tried to make the flap a little bit bigger so that it would come around about an inch on top of that water bottle holder and then go on to the button here. I had to guess at how to make the little buttonhole. I hadn't done that before. I just did some slip stitches and skipped a couple stitches. I don't know, somehow I made it work. And then I found a cute little purple button I had on hand and put that on there. So the flap comes right around and then you can stick the button in there. It does seem to curl up a little bit on the end, but hopefully with time that will go down. So yeah, I found I find it really cute. She said she likes spring colors and I just thought this definitely looks all spring colored. If you enjoy these videos where I share the projects I've been working on or projects I've completed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's a wonderful way to support my channel and it really means a lot to me. That's all I have for this video. I hope you're doing great and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.